Okay, fun stuff. Huge update coming, but until then, we got a couple patches just for some stuff that's coming in, mostly on the voice assistant, but uh, some other stuff's getting cleared up as well for the go high level endpoints. So just with the voice assistant's opt out data, if you need uh, HIPAA compliance or you don't need the recordings or transcripts to follow through, turn this on, save the information, you'll be good to go. This will opt you out of data collection on the back end and you'll be good. So I'll be updating the voice list too. We'll be getting a lot more voices. We also have call center on ambient noises now too. So um, there we go there. So now what I'd like to do is uh, nothing crazy on the flow builder, but a couple things here. So we have pre-call webhook. Uh, so the same thing is, I guess the inverse of post-call webhook is after the call is complete, we send you a webhook. Now with pre-call webhook, uh, when a call is, is getting started, whether it's outbound or inbound, we'll send you a webhook to let you know that um, that a call is, is coming through. All right, uh, functions here added a couple things. So for those who need a multi-call transfer, you can just continue to add transfers through here. Um, you will need to change the number though, or it will not save correctly. So they'll have to be different numbers. It would be hard to transfer to the same number multiple different times. So you could do multi-call transfer now, and you just put under what condition to transfer those numbers. And then last is update info. Um, so this will update the name and the email for an inbound call. Uh, so let's go here. I'll go ahead and save that. We have our pre and post call webhook set up here. All right, I'm gonna go here, make sure everything's good. I have my flow builder just to ask a couple questions. And then let's, let's give this thing a call. So I'm gonna go, I've already deleted my contact out. So this is, um, this is truly a cold call. Um, my contact information is not in there, so let's give it a call. Hi there, this is Haley from Assistable.ai. I'm glad we could connect today. How did you hear about us? Uh, I was watching some YouTube videos and just found the website. That's awesome. YouTube can be a great source for discovering new tools. What caught your eye about our AI? Uh, looked easy to implement, a couple here, there's, and then you're, you're good to go, it seems like. That's great to hear. We do aim to make things as seamless as possible. By the way, what's your name? Uh, it's Jordan. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Could you share your email with me so I can keep in touch? Sure. It's going to be jordan at assistable.ai. Got it. Let me update that real quick. One second. All set, Jordan. Are you currently using any AI products in your business? Yeah, we use chat GPT and sometimes we'll use, um, you know, just some other stuff for some copywriting, but we don't really use much. Got it. What made you start looking at other solutions? Um, well, we just need to probably scale our outreach, uh, whether it's calling or texting. So we, we just wanted to look at some options on that. That makes sense. Scaling outreach is crucial. Our AI can definitely help with that. Would you like to explore how we can assist you further? Yeah, sure. Great. Would you like to schedule a time to dive deeper into how our AI can help scale your outreach? Yeah, why not? Awesome. One second while I check our calendar for available slots. We have a few slots available. How does this Thursday at 11.15 a.m. or 12.45 p.m. sound for you? Can you do 12.45? Let me block that time off for you one second. Did you get the time blocked off? Yes, I'm just about to finalize it. One moment, please. All set, Jordan. Your appointment is scheduled for this Thursday at 12.45 p.m. Looking forward to chatting more then. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, then we're gonna double this up. So that was a cold inbound. My contact information wasn't in there. 
short spell my name wrong, but we can add some error handling in there for that. No problem. I'm going to give it a second call back to that number. I'm going to have it try to multi-transfer out. So let's try this. Hi there. This is Haley from Assistable.ai. I'm glad we could connect today. How did you hear about us? Hey, can you connect me with Haley? Sure thing. Let me transfer you to Haley. One moment, please. Hello. Cool. Bye. <laughs> that was my wife. So my usual call transfer here goes to me, but on the second call transfer, I have it to where when someone asks to talk to Haley, it sends it to uh, to her number. So multi-call transfer, you have contact information filling. We have a more reliable infrastructure for inbound calling, pre-call web, uh, webhook, post-call webhook. And then we also have now where we will send through um, data for who's calling. So now if we transfer the call, they'll get the number of the person who's calling. For, so for example, my wife just got my number, not the assistance number here. So we, we now pass through the caller ID to the person getting the transfer. So there you go. Uh, all that in a nutshell, more coming. I have a, a list of stuff that's coming out, stuff that's working on right now. Uh, but this should at least tide you over. And you saw that I just, I set this assistant up uh, you know, it took me five minutes to get all this together. I mean, this was an easy one, two state kind of thing here uh, with some bulletproof prompting. Same thing here. This is the, the stock prompt that comes with it. And then um, you can see my settings here if you want to replicate them. But easy enough. I uh, hope that's helpful. Um, you'll see a lot more updates coming here in the future for, you know, what I'm kind of, I guess, coining as V2. But um, this should it should take care of a lot of the uh, nuances with voice for right now. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks so much. Happy Monday.